In this tutorial, we're going to walk through how to add tables to your Microsoft document. So uh, Word has a great way to integrate tables. Obviously, if you're wanting to use tables and extensive equations or things like that, uh, you're most likely going to want to use Microsoft Excel. How, and I, we do have a course on that that you can check out on our YouTube channel. Uh, but if you want to simply add a table into Word, uh, they have some great ways of doing that. Uh, right now, we're going to show how to uh, add a pricing table to a document. So we're uh, going to start off by just putting some text in there and then right below it's where we're gonna insert our table. Now to do that you go up to your ribbon and you go to the insert ribbon and right below that you can see where it says table. So you're gonna click on that drop down and then select however many rows and columns that you want. So you can also do things like uh, insert a table with some more details, draw a table, uh, put in an Excel spreadsheet, um, or use some of their built-in ones. These built-in ones are great if you're wanting to put in a calendar or uh, uh, you know, right here they have things like a tabular list or kind of a traditional table right here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do one from scratch, but feel free to look through these. Uh, I use these ones on a pretty regular basis, so I think they can be really helpful. Uh, what we're going to add in is a table that is four uh, rows high and then three columns wide. And so we're going to uh, click on that and you can see it gets inserted right there. Now once that's been added you can see that this ribbon now has changed to a uh, call to a, a ribbon called table tools this is where you can integrate a unique design a layout change the colors the shading everything like that uh, so the very first thing we're going to do is give it a little bit different style and the way we're going to do that is click on that drop down in the um, bottom right hand corner and you can see there's a really wide range of different table options to pick from. So we're going to pick on one or select one that shades the very top in a nice blue and then shades every other uh, row so it can add some uh, just kind of some distinctive colors. Uh, so here we go we have it uh, separated like this and this is a pricing table so we're going to say this is for package A and to go your next uh, next column just click tab it takes you there and this is package B next one is package C and then go to the next one just hit tab again it takes you drops you right down into your next row and you can say uh, basic features then basic features plus something else and then everything uh, obviously if this was a real pricing table hopefully you have some more uh, specific things that you can put on there and then we'll put this is charged monthly this one is charged monthly and this one's charged quarterly and then the price for this one is $9.99, $15.99 and then $49.99 okay one thing you will notice is that on the left hand side by default this table style makes all of this text bold which we don't want because we don't want to emphasize this one so to do it to fix that all we have to do is highlight it click bold and now you can see all three of them look the same and uh, and that looks great uh, there's some other things obviously you can do if you have set all this up and then you decide that you don't like it you can simply come up here and change the style again so click on more and say this time you're gonna be printing in grayscale or something like that and you need to have a black and white one select something like grid table 4 and now you can see it's switched all the colors for you so when you've created this table and you print it out or you put it online and you feel like it's not really what you're looking for don't worry uh, word makes it very easy to change that so click it again and this time we will go with a uh, blue one but 
it doesn't have the rows separated. I personally like the rows separated. It makes readability a little bit easier, especially if you start adding a lot of rows. You start going, you know, 20, 30 rows down, uh, which a lot of pricing tables would. Um, that's a good thing to do. So we'll simply come back and add that in, and now you're good to go. Some of the other things you can do, you can play around with uh, shading and changing uh, the color scheme. So you can select simply one, or you could, if you wanted, select all of them just by clicking and dragging and then you can see right here you can actually change it to any color you want. I don't want to do that because I like the color that was preset with that and I'm going to keep it that way. You can also change the border style so you could change it uh, to add, have a different color. You can do things like adding uh, multiple lines around the border. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with uh, those borders. Um, the other thing you can do is click on layout if you feel like this isn't really everything that you need. They have a lot of different options uh, here that you can play around with, doing things like splitting cells, splitting the table itself, uh, inserting more rows. There's pretty much anything and everything that you can change and configure right in this section right here. So uh, if you have some time, play around with it, decide the kind of features you want. Just know that in order to get it up there, you just have to go to Insert, table and then pick out what you're wanting and as you can see there you can even put a table inside of a table uh, if you ever want to do something like that uh, but Microsoft Word offers a lot of flexibility don't worry if you make some mistakes it's very easy to go back and change them but congratulations you now know how to add tables to Microsoft Word and how to style them please let me know if you have any other questions